Hi everyone, Luca from lgmphotography.co.uk and in this video I just wanted to give you a few advice on how to shoot um, at lower speed handheld, so without any tripod or support. In, the, in this video, I just wanted to show you yes a few uh, a few techniques I've used in the past that worked very well. Um, now, before you can try yourself, you need to think about what you're going to take in picture. Now, if you take something a picture of uh, a building, that's fine, go for it. Uh, if it's something that's static that doesn't move, you can certainly try uh, to go as low as possible just to test yourself. But you need to bear in mind that if you're going to shoot. Um, someone, that sounds probably wrong, if you're going to photograph someone, it, uh, you need to bear in mind that if that person is moving, so for example taking a picture of a child, you need to be careful that the child is going to move, it's not going to listen to you and it's not going to stay still. So you need to increase your speed in, uh, to, uh, to obviously compensate for, for the movement. Uh, a lot of time when you take pictures of adults, uh, for example at, at a wedding, you cannot ask them stay still you get a shot if you need to drop your speed uh, very low to maybe possibly, I don't know, if you want to keep your eyes so low, you rather drop your speed. Uh, that's, that, that's something I normally try to do. Uh, but yeah, a few techniques I've learned is that uh, the first one is use, there is like a kind of a palm between your shoulder and your breast there. And if, I would probably say the safe, a safe shooting is probably between 1 50th and 1 60th of a second. That's a safe. Everyone should be able to get a nice and sharp picture uh, of something still at that speed. Uh, anything lower, you've got to start taking precaution and be careful. Uh, the, the first thing here yeah, is you have uh, kind of a, a little bump here. And what you do is you place your camera here and you can be like this. So this will help you kind of stay stable. This will provide kind of a, a support uh, to your camera. It's definitely easier if you have a grip. I've normally always used this technique with a grip. So it gets a bit higher and your eye should really be at uh, the, where the eyepiece is. Uh, so having this here, it kind of gives you that support. Also, always keep your shoulder inside you. So this doesn't, doesn't shake or doesn't move. So stay nice and still like this, that's a good way. The other way is to go down into one knee and use your knee, touch your knee with your elbow here and use it again. So that's another uh, support you can use. Uh, but one of the best I've used so far is kind of combining technique is put your camera into high burst. And the reason for that is because when you kind of click the shot, the shutter uh, button here, it's more than likely that it's going to shake. If you dropping your speed to one tenth or half a second, I'm talking very, very low speed here. Uh, you're gonna have to be really still for, for that period of time. Uh, depending on the camera you use, but more megapixel as well will affect the, the sharpness of the picture, uh, which I've just found out with the D800. And what you would do is, if you kind of get into a position and then keep your finger pressed on the shutter, instead of taking one picture, take three picture what would happen is between picture one and picture three the difference is that you won't be pressing anything so your your finger will stay on the shutter and it will take the second and the third shot without really any interaction with the camera because your shutter is already pressed and you're like this and tuck 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 and this this kind of uh, uh, helps you uh, get sharper picture uh, that is pretty much the uh, the um, only tips I can I can give you because that's the one I used and they work for me. If you have other tips and you want to leave them down below for people who, who want to look at the comments and get other advice, uh, please feel free to do so. And any question, let me know. Cheers. See ya.